Hi, John from Johnston Custom Guitars here. I've got this 56 model uh, T-style guitar. This is in a uh, aged butterscotch, heavily distressed uh, nitrocellulose guitar. It's pine body, maple neck, thick, chunky C-neck, uh, vintage style 21 frets, black guard. Uh, I've got it's a Esquire setup, one pickup, GFS uh, classic pickup there top loader bridge does have the single deluxe line cluner, inclusion uh, tuners on it bone nut uh, Johnston logo of course again it's uh, been heavily distressed and aged uh, to perfection this is a top loader so again it goes through the bridge not uh, not a string through body so you get a little different tonal uh, aspects out of that it does kind of have a little ring to it and a little bit more bite uh, in the bridge position, you do have a straight output like a broadcaster style uh, wiring. So you get a little bit more of a throaty and direct response without the tone knob being in the circuit. In the middle position, it does add the tone in there, so you do have use of that. And then in the neck position, you get a cocked wah or a, uh, an elder style wiring uh, that some people really feel uh, is, is, is fun to have. I find it is a very useful tone. Uh, playing in live situations, sometimes that frequency just really cuts through the mix and makes a nice uh, tone. But a lot of people get it wrong. They really add on um, a lot of mud to it. And mine is very slight. It, it is a cocktoa sound, but it is, it is very useful. So I'm gonna just run through that real quick, enough talking. So in the bridge position, So uh, you get you get a very you know direct response. It is bright. Uh, it's chimey. But uh, when you got volume all the way up. That's coming through the video well but it, it's very throaty uh, it gives you some nice rhythm tones and especially lead tones on this guitar with the middle position you get the, the tone added into the circuit again so again throat straight through to the output tone knob there so sound so So you get that cock wah sound straight to the output tone in the circuit. And you got the cock wah sound. So again, I think it's very useful, very player friendly. Um, I try to do things and mods to guitars when I build them that I would use in a live situation. And I feel that, uh, that these are all very, very useful. Uh, again, thinner style. Uh, body more like a broadcaster style heavy distressed on this all the hardware was hand aged by me hand wired by me um, nitrocellulose lacquer paint uh, finished by me again the the neck is uh, you know heavily distressed it's got a lot of simulated wear and age but uh, 
nice nice brand new frets on this one um, deluxe occlusion tuners again you know it's made to look like it's that old but sounds great plays great and I think would be an ultimate uh, just players guitar to have out on the road so I had a lot of people asking what does it sound like it looks cool but uh, wanted to get a video out uh, so that way hopefully you can see and hear uh, what it does so if you have any additional questions, please feel free to message me directly. You can find me on all of the social media out in the inner tubes on uh, Instagram, Facebook, Facebook page, uh, my website, johnstoncustomguitars.com. And uh, this guy comes with a tweed thermometer style case, uh, free shipping, and it's available in my reverb store right now. So I'm really surprised this guy's still out there, but I think it's because it took me a while to get this video going. So I'll quit talking. You guys have a good day and uh, feel free to message me if you have any other questions or about uh, specific custom builds. I'm more than happy to help. Take care and good luck to whoever owns this guy because it's going to be an awesome guitar. Thanks.